Hello, this is Professor Mueller, and I wanted to make a quick video here showing you how to combine two images in Photoshop as opposed to Lightroom. Most of my students are using Lightroom, and uh, we have a couple of demos on that, uh, but nothing on Photoshop. So Photoshop is, um, is a little bit more straightforward, I think. Um, it has its advantages. It also has its disadvantages. In Lightroom, you can save templates, which I went over in my video on Lightroom and I think that's a, a pretty great advantage. But if you happen to have Photoshop, uh, these are pretty simple to, to build in Photoshop. Uh, there's two ways off the top of my head that I can think of um, that are, they're both uh, pretty easy. And we'll go over, we'll go over both of them uh, kind of quickly. So uh, here we are in Photoshop and I am going to open a couple of images. Uh, I guess I'll do it from here. Uh, I put them on my desktop. Well, that's kind of a larger screen than you need to see. Um, and I call them diptychs. And I have two Photoshop files in here. You can use JPEGs. Uh, if your version of Photoshop is recent enough, uh, the more recent versions uh, allow for layering with JPEGs. Uh, earlier versions, uh, you, can't, you can't create layers. Uh, and you'll need to have layers for this. Well, one of the ways I'm doing it will, will require later layers. One of them won't. Um, but let's, let's go through um, these two images here. So they, they op they're open in their own tabs, which is fine. And uh, so I'm going to first show you the way I would, I would do it, because I think it saves steps. And this is just to increase the canvas size of one of your pictures. Uh, so you kind of decide which is on the left and which is on the right. And I want this picture on the left. So first thing I'm going to do is go up to the image menu. And I'm not sure if you can see my cursor as it goes out of the Photoshop window, but I'm just clicking on image, image size. And I just want to take a note <coughs> of the size of this image. And it's 1200 by 1200 pix pixels. Uh, yours, depending on how you save it, yours might be huge. Uh, you can. If you're working with a really large file, you might want to save a copy of it at a smaller resolution before you do this, um, but you don't have to. You can work with the super large resolution file and then just once you make your diptych, which will be very large, then you can just save that at a smaller size. Uh, but what I've done is I've, I've prepared these images to be, you know, kind of a smallish size, but um, you know, something manageable to work with. So this is a square image. It's 1200 by 1200. So I'm just going into this window to take note of that. That's all I want to do is understand the size of this. And I happen to know that the other image is the same size. Um, so I'm just going to say OK. So I'm going to go back to the one I want on the left. I could start with either of these, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, to increase the canvas size in Photoshop is um, sort of like uh, imagining that this photograph right now is sitting on a piece of paper that's the same size as the photograph. So imagine right now it's sitting on a piece of paper that's 1200 by 1200 pixels. That's the canvas. So if I increase the canvas size, I just increase the piece of paper uh, on which my photograph is sitting. And let's, let's do this. So we go up to the image menu again and we pull down to canvas size and there's a couple of things uh, here. Uh, if you if you check relative and you add uh, real estate in these fields, you will just create um, either a white or a black border around the picture. So I'm going to uncheck relative. I don't want this sort of to be relative to the photograph. I just want to change the canvas size. I'm going to change this to pixels because I'm working in pixels. And so you see right now when I change it to pixels and I take relative off that um, I'm informed that my picture is 1200 by 1200. So it looks like I didn't really have to go to the image size menu uh, to prepare this, but I did. So it's 1200 by 1200. So here's where we're doing a little math. If I want to put two, these two pictures side by side, I need a width of 2400 pixels. So I just added 1200 and 1200. The height will be the same because they're going to be side by side and they're each 1200 pixels high. So I'm going to change my width 
to 2400 pixels. And the anchor setting here is very important. So the anchor is where you establish where on this new canvas you want this photograph to sit, the one that I'm working on. I'm working on the canvas size of just one of these pictures. So where do I want this picture to sit on the new canvas? I want it to sit off to the left, centered vertically and off to the left. Canvas extension color hardly matters in this case. I'll just leave it white. You can choose white, black, gray, or you can choose anything you want. So once I hit OK, I've increased my canvas size. So I'm going to make that fit in the window. All right, so we're on our way. I'm going to go over to uh, the other photograph. And earlier when I said that the method I was about to use didn't require layering, I was wrong. This method does require layering. layering. So now I'm in uh, the second picture, the one I want to be on the right. And I'm just going to go Command All, which is the same as doing Select All. Most of you know that. And I'm going to go Command Copy, which I could get up here too. Everybody knows these keyboard shortcuts. Copy. I'm going to go back to my canvas and I'm going to paste. And it pastes it right in the middle. And if you notice, if you come over to the layers, you see that I've just created a layer. I have a background, which is the original, and I have a layer. So I can close that. Now I'm going to the Move tool, which is this triangle at the top of my, my toolkit. And I can just move this around. By default, it's going to snap right where I want it, and it fits perfectly. So there I have a diptych. Now I need to save. I don't want to, uh, I, want, I want to save this as something, right? So I want to, if I save now, if I save, it will overwrite the original file of the first picture. Now, if I'm working on my large original, then that's not a good thing to do. Uh, I'm hap I happen to be working on a copy, but I'm going to be careful anyway and just save it as. And it's got the file name for the first image. And I'm just going to add the word diptych to it. All right, there, I have a diptych. It's a layered Photoshop file. If I want to flatten it, easy enough, flatten it. If I want to go into image size and change its size, so now I can change the size of the whole thing. Maybe I want to make it 1,200 pixels wide, uh, which is the size I've asked my students to use. And then I want to save this as JPEG. So I just save it as a JPEG. Those of you who use Photoshop, uh, realize that I'm not moving too quickly here. You understand all this, and then I want to view it uh, a little bit less than 100%. So that's one way to make um, a diptych using Photoshop. I can show you another quick way. I'll close both those. I'm not going to save that. Uh, the other way in Photoshop, uh, which I don't know why anybody would really want to use, but Maybe if you're doing, maybe if you're doing, um, you know, grids of two by two or four by four or something like that, it might make sense. So let's just um, understand that I know that both the pieces I'm using are 1200 by 1200. Uh, so let's say I've already checked that. I can just make a new file, Command New, File New, and I can call it whatever I want. And I can make it the final size that I need. 2400 by 1200, or the, the size I know that my, my pixel or my, my uh, images will fit in. So I'm just making a brand new blank file, right? And now I'm just going to open the other two. All right, so now I have a, a brand new canvas you know, to put both of them on. And now it's just basically the same. It's, it's uh, select all and copy and then paste. And it'll make a layer. So now I have two layers. The, the background is just a blank layer. And I can go to my move tool, which is here. I'll put it where I want. And go to the next one. Select all, copy. Go back to my canvas. 
I guess the advantage of this is now when I save, there's no danger of me saving over the original because this is a brand new file. Uh, so that's basically how to do it in Photoshop, and I hope that helps those of you who are using Photoshop. Thanks a lot. Bye.